The arrival of OLED technology in the monitor market took quite some time after it became a staple in high-end TVs. The reason was its specific use case, as working on a computer requires greater durability and longevity. Fortunately, OLED is now mature enough that for the past few years it's been appearing more and more frequently, not only among premium monitors, but also in some relatively affordable ones. The biggest reason to celebrate this development definitely goes to gamers, since the advantages of this technology, especially the ultra-fast pixel response, offer both a functional and competitive edge. What makes things even more interesting is that OLED, in its monitor form, has evolved in a somewhat different direction compared to TVs. Each year we are getting panels with increasingly higher refresh rates, which combined with OLED's inherent advantages open up new horizons, so to speak, especially for gaming. How far has this technology come and what practical benefits it brings, we got a chance to see on Gigabyte's Aorus F427Q5P monitor, which features an OLED panel with an incredible 500Hz refresh rate. Let's first explain why this is such a big deal. You've probably noticed that in FPS games, when you make sudden movements or when objects move quickly across the screen, their sharpness often isn't ideal. There's a certain amount of blur or smearing that in critical moments slows down your ability to detect opponents and your reaction time. Part of the reason for this is the response time figure you see in monitor's panel specs, the time it takes for pixels to change from one shade to another. While IPS and VA monitors usually have real-world response times between 2 and 8 milliseconds, OLED typically sits around 0.2 milliseconds, meaning it's way faster. The other factor here is refresh rate, which also affects how sharp moving objects appear. To achieve the kind of motion sharpness our eyes perceive in the real world, you'd theoretically need 1000 frames per second or a panel that refreshes at 1000 Hz. OLED has fast enough response time, and with a 500Hz refresh rate, we are now getting seriously close to that goal. That's the key advantage of this monitor, though to fully benefit from it, there are a few caveats we'll get to later. But let's start from the top. The design of this model retains certain familiar elements from earlier Aorus models. It's simple but modern and effective, featuring an ultra-thin screen bezel, a narrow top margin slightly wider on the sides, and a slim bottom bezel with an embossed Aorus logo and an NVIDIA G-Sync sticker. Like many other high-end OLED TVs and monitors, the panel is housed in an extremely thin metal frame, just about 5mm thick, providing excellent rigidity and a premium look and feel. The stand follows a similar aesthetic, a V-shaped design with a stepped front surface and a cast metal base that gives it a sense of solidity and quality craftsmanship. It allows height adjustments in 13 cm range, 20 degrees swivel to either side, minus 5 to 20 degree tilt, and a 90 degree pivot clockwise. There's also VESA 100x100 mounting support if you want to use it with an arm or wall mount. Most of the back of the monitor is taken up by a section housing the electronics and connectors, styled with a mix of shapes and textures for a more subtle gaming look, except for the glowing logo on the top. On the underside of that section, you'll find a rich set of ports. Two HDMI 2.1 and one Mini DP 2.1, both supporting UHBR20 bandwidth, one DisplayPort 1.4, HBR3, and a USB Type-C port that supports video, data transfer, and up to 18 watts power delivery. There are also headphone and microphone jacks, one USB 3.2 upstream port to connect to your PC, and two downstream USB ports for peripherals. Thanks to these USB ports and the USB-C connection, the monitor supports KVM functionality, allowing you to share peripherals between the two connected systems. It also supports picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture modes for multiple sources. All settings are controlled through an intuitive on-screen menu navigated by a mini joystick below the center of the monitor's front edge. Pressing it brings up a quick access menu with shortcuts for the full menu, panel maintenance tools, power options and gaming features. Each joystick direction also acts as a shortcut, pulling it towards you changes display profiles, pushing it away opens Black Equalizer 2.0, right switches inputs and left adjusts volume. 
The monitor includes built-in speakers, which don't offer much in the way of bass, but get decently loud and will do just fine for everyday use. On either side of the joystick are two buttons. The left one turns off the screen to preserve OLED when not in use, while the right one, the so-called tactical switch, toggles between standard display and a scaled 24-inch mode. You can remap this button to other gaming functions with plenty of useful options, from crosshair overlays and countdown timers, to the eagle eye zoom, night vision for enhanced dark scene visibility and more. The main reason to buy this monitor is certainly its gaming performance. The combination of ultra-fast response and refresh rates mentioned earlier offers the sharpest motion clarity currently possible in fast-paced action games. The primary audience is clearly pro Counter-Strike players, as well as PUBG and Call of Duty enthusiasts, and anyone who wants an uncompromised gaming experience. In the UFO test, the Aorus FO27Q5P delivers exceptionally sharp images, clearly resolving even the tiny one pixel wide eyes, proof of how close this combo is to perfection in terms of motion. That's thanks to both the 500Hz refresh rate and an incredible 0.03ms response time, which is fast even by OLED standards. To fully enjoy what this monitor can do though, you'll need to use it at or near its maximum refresh rate. There are two ways to achieve this. First one is using variable refresh rate, G-Sync or FreeSync, with a very high frame rate, which will require a very powerful computer. This is the best option, but not achievable for everyone in every game. The second option is fixing the refresh rate at 500Hz, which gives you maximum motion clarity, but introduces some tearing and micro-stuttering when the frame rate doesn't match the refresh rate. The good news is that at this high of frequency, these issues are minimal, far less noticeable than on 60 to 144 hertz displays without VRR. During testing, we mostly use this mode. Even with VRR active and lower frame rates, the monitor still delivers excellent responsiveness. However, for gamers who typically play below 240 FPS and don't absolutely need the fastest possible response, 240Hz OLED models remain a more cost-effective and reasonable choice. Beyond sheer speed, the Aorus FO27Q5P has other strengths, courtesy of OLED technology, specifically a Samsung QD OLED panel. It delivers superb contrast, brightness and color reproduction, offering a rich, vivid and visually striking experience. With true blacks and measured peak brightness of 1067.8 nits, it provides a genuine HDR display with impressive dynamic range and the ability to present bright and dark details simultaneously. Even at full screen brightness, the ABL limiter isn't overly aggressive, with measured sustained brightness at a solid 328.9 nits. One of QD OLED's main advantages over WOLED is that high brightness doesn't wash out color saturation, keeping the image vibrant. In our tests, the panel covered an impressive 99.8% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, the highest figure we've ever recorded on a monitor or TV. Accounting for measurement tolerance, this is arguably the first true 100% DCI-P3 display we've seen, despite many claiming that title. Since this is primarily a gaming monitor, color accuracy isn't its main focus, but in sRGB mode we measured an excellent delta E deviation of 2.7. With proper calibration, you can achieve near-perfect color performance, making it viable even for multimedia workstations, though there's one catch. Due to the triangular subpixel layout, QD OLED panels don't render text perfectly, leaving faint red fringing around edges, so this isn't an ideal choice for text-heavy workloads. The panel features a QHD 2560x1440 resolution, which is optimal for a 27-inch size and a good balance for achieving high frame rates. Finally, it's worth noting that buyers get a full 3-year burn-in warranty, a very important feature for a high-performance OLED monitor like this. Gigabyte has implemented comprehensive protection, including a graphene-based cooling layer and AI algorithms for image shifting, logo dimming, static content management, and more. All in all, the Gigabyte Aorus FO27Q5P is an outstanding monitor for those seeking top-tier gaming performance and stunning HDR visuals. 
It might not be everyone's first choice, but for players chasing the sharpest motion clarity and with the hardware to match, it offers truly highest level performance. As for the price, the Aorus FO27Q5P currently costs around $1600 in the US or €940 Euro on Amazon. That wraps up our impressions, but we look forward to hearing yours in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing to our channel. You were watching Bench House, my name is Ivan, and I'll see you next time.